The Turtle Room. Education, Conservation, Survival. So this is a young adult female spiny turtle, or cogwheel turtle. Eosemi spinosa is the, the Latin name. And they're a great species um, that has been kept often in captivity, but a lot of people don't have success with them because a lot of them are imports and they, they just don't do really well. A lot of the imports end up dying, they don't breed, and, and this is a species that is really not bred very often. But the reason I'm showing you this female first is so that you can see the compar comparison. So I'll show you uh, her boyfriend next, and I think you'd be impressed with him. So this is Raksasa, which is the Indonesian word for giant. And he's named that because he is the largest spiny turtle on record. He's an absolute behemoth. And I like him because he reminds me of me. But um, he came from a vet, um, a veterinarian in Connecticut who had had him for decades and estimated him to be um, at least 80 years old. Um, I don't know how you could confirm or deny that, but by looking at him, he certainly looks like he could be in, indeed 80 years old. Um, he's absolutely huge. The largest on record was 278 mill millimeters and somewhere around 2,800 grams, I want to say. This fella is, a, a, he's actually a foot long, which is just around 300 millimeters and he weighs 3,602 grams. So he dwarfs the um, previous record holder. That was published in 2006. Um, so the only literature that, that I've been able to find that has um, anything that, that uh, rivals his size is that, that male um, who is not really on par with this. So my arm is tired just from holding him. And if anyone's wondering, I can't remember, it's either eight or nine pounds, but he's, he's legit. He's a big boy. So you see the uh, concavity of the plastron. And he basically fits right on top of a, a female, like you saw earlier. You see the big tail, obviously, that's for breeding. And um, you could probably wear this guy as a, as a helmet if you wanted to um, because of that, how concave that plastron is. But he's, he's a great turtle. He's a good eater. He's put on weight since he's been here. And we're so proud to have him as an ambassador for our breeding programs. And we're excited to give him his first opportunity in captivity to become a father and to to pass on his amazing genes to future generations it won't be an easy task these this species is really tough to breed but uh, we think that you know we're at least interested in giving it our best try and and hope that we have good news to share with you guys in the future for more information on this and other exciting colonian species visit the turtle check back every monday night for new videos from the turtle room